Kimura are a Pajaro Valley Education Foundation director, and you're in, in the audience. Please make your way up to this stage so you can um, you can cheer on nominees from the stage. Thank you. Welcome. My name is Alicia Jimenez. I am the Public Information Officer of Pajaro Valley Unified School District, and it is a privilege to be here with you with representatives from each one of our schools and departments. Incredible, with the work that you are all doing. Thank you for being here. The Pajaro Valley Education Foundation is honored to sponsor the annual Innovator of the Year Awards, acknowledging the creative and innovative accom accomplishments of our staff. Let me see if this works. Andrea, is this working? Where do I go? And this is Andy, she takes care of our middle center. Hola, Andy. Thank you. Oh, it has to be turned on. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe it. Let me see. See if it's true. It is true. Ah, okay. Each secondary school and department selected one classified and one certificated individual and each elementary school selected one classified and one certificated TK through second and one in three to fifth or sixth grade who is making a significant contribution to PBUSD's vision through innovative and creative strategies to receive that site department innovator of the year award. From the group of site and department awardees, PVEF board of directors selected 11 individuals who will receive the District Innovator of the Award at the end of this event. And it's a surprise, I'm so excited. Um, so this is uh, what we, you can expect to happen. Before we hear from Dr. Rodriguez, please note, for nominees, we're gonna be, I'm going to be calling you up in numbers from one through 15. And I'm gonna ask you guys to go through the back over there, uh, the back exit, and you're gonna line up in the, on this side by number. Imagine you're in Southwest Airlines. Line up number 1 through 15, please. So when you line up, you're going to come and we're going to be cheering for you like this so that we don't waste a lot of time. So can we practice this? We'll share so you can hear as they're coming in, uh, coming up. And then uh, nominees, as you walk across, there is a, uh, an X on the third step. You're going to stand there so Lindsay from Human Resources can take your photograph and we're going to make sure we create an album and share it with everyone. So now I would like to uh, invite uh, Dr. Michelle Rodriguez, our Superintendent of Schools. Inspired, committed, innovative, creative, transformational. Those are all words that were used about you as Innovators of the Year for the year 2021 to 2022. I want you to look around and give each other a round of applause. <laughs> to say we've been through a tough two years is an understatement, right? We've been through thick and thin, and our district were needed a set of strong, innovative staff to keep the smile on our face and keep the smile on the faces of our children and our community. And so there are 104 of you here today that are representing exactly what we know that PDUSD is all about. And it takes you to make a great district and it takes you to make a great team. So each of you each day, each day took calculated creative risk to positively impact the lives of our students, their families, and staff. You saw areas to improve and said, I'm going to change that. I'm going to make PBUSD a little bit better than it was the day before. You tried to enhance our system to improve the benefit that our colleagues, our administrators, and our staff feel every day. And so I want you to know we see you. 
We see you for the good work that you are doing. And we are here to celebrate you today because you are what's great. And so as you pass through the pass along, you're going to receive your award. They're spectacular because they actually have blue at the bottom, so it looks like it's illuminated. And so we hope that you put this someplace where on those hard days, on those challenging days, you can look at it and say, I make an impact and I know people appreciate me. So thank you so much for being here. I am going to ask uh, numbers, um, before I ask the next two speakers to come up, if numbers one through 15 can begin to line up, please. Thank you. Now I'm going to call uh, Maria Orozco, PBEF um, president and PBUSD vice president come and say a few words. Thank you, welcome Maria. Good evening, I am pleased to welcome all of you to our annual Innovator of the Year Awards. In addition to graduations and Student of the Year celebrations, this is also one of my favorite events as we get to highlight our employees. I am proud of all we have accomplished this year, in large part because of the contributions and hard work of our certificated and classified employees alike. Today we get to recognize over 100 of our employees who through their innovation and dedication, they have contributed to the success of our students and their well-being. Whether it was for expanding a school's library to include grade level reading books that are culturally and linguistically relevant, to creating a hope club for students to experience a profound sense of belonging, to increasing parent support for each one of the programs under CDD, to coordinating with NASA so that students could communicate through Google Meet with an astronaut, and so much more. That's innovation. You have all demonstrated resilience, creativity, and innovation. You have a lot to be proud of. So on behalf of PBUSD and the Paro Valley Education Foundation, we thank you for supporting the children and families of PBUSD. Congratulations all. Buenas noches. Buenas tardes, buenas noches. Me complace dar la bienvenida a todos ustedes a nuestros premios anuales al innovador del año. Además de, los, de las graduaciones y la celebración de los estudiantes del año, este también es uno de mis eventos favoritos, ya que destacamos a nuestros empleados. Estoy orgullosa de todo lo que hemos logrado este año, en gran parte debido a las contribuciones y el arduo trabajo de nuestros empleados certificados y clasificados por igual. Hoy vamos a reconocer a más de 100 de nuestros empleados que a través de su innovación y dedicación han contribuido al éxito de nuestros estudiantes y a su bienestar, ya sea mediante la ampliación de la biblioteca escolar para incluir libros de lectura de nivel grado, cultural y lingüísticamente relevante, a la creación de un club de esperanza para que los estudiantes experimenten un profundo sentido de pertenencia, al aumento del apoyo de los padres para que cada uno de los programas bajo CDD o la coordinación con NASA para que los estudiantes puedan comunicarse a través de Google Meet con un astronauta y mucho, mucho más. Todos han demostrado resiliencia, creatividad e innovación. Tienes mucho, tienen mucho de lo, de lo que estar orgullosos. So, de parte del Distrito Escolar Unificado del Valle de Pájaro y la Fundación de la Educación de Pájaro Valley, Les agradecemos por apoyar a los niños y a las familias de PBOS. Felicidades a todos. Gracias. Thank you, Maria. Gracias, Maria. Now I'd like to invite Ms. Catherine Bermudez, PBEF Vice President and a PBUSD teacher. Welcome, Ms. Bermudez. Good evening and welcome. I 
I am the PBUSD Vice President and also a teacher at Mesty Elementary School. And I just want to start by saying I have felt this year with you. So thank you so much for your hard work. And more importantly than that, thank you for choosing to be here. Um, it means a lot to choose to build community when we are so tired. And I know that innovation can happen in two, two ways. Innovation sometimes happens because we just have to. Um, but innovation can also happen because there's something in you that makes you an innovative person and you chose to put in even more than was asked of you. And so thank you so much for that. It's absolutely my favorite part of serving on this board. I feel like I get a sneak peek of the incredible things that are happening and I, um, I'm really grateful that you're here. So in closing, I just want to recognize that our innovative teachers are here and being with them is restorative and we should be really grateful for this time finally together. Thank you so much. Okay, enjoy your clapping because this is the last time. From now on, this is gonna be famous. Thank you so much. We're gonna start. Denise Mijares. Extended Learning Classified Office Assistant. Denise has provided consistent leadership at several sites over the years. Her insights and feedback have been used as a foundation to build department protocols and procedures. Mary Sandman. Rio Del Mar, Certificated, Second Grade Teacher. Mary promotes inclusivity of all students through the ongoing facilitation of acceptance from one another, respecting differences and promoting positive interactions between students. Jaime Munoz, Calabasas, classified lead custodian. The biggest change was the sense of pride Jaime took and the importance of creating a physical environment any parent would be happy to send their kid to. Congratulations. Catherine. Who knows what a golf clap? Okay, okay. 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 Catherine Chin. Minty White. Certified, our certificated art teacher. Ms. Chin thought about the impact the loss of a teacher would have on students and their access to VAPA. Motivated by her sense of equity and a work ethic rivaled by none, she single-handedly addressed VAPA access for all of our learners. Paloma Luna, Watsonville Charter School of the Arts, classified yard duty. Paloma is finding ways to make leases more equitable and safer and has taken on many leadership roles, including our new Playworks roll out. Michelle Negro, Anne Soto, certificated K first grade teacher. Our veteran kinder teacher, Michelle Negro, is an all star innovator. She has a positive student center viewpoint, which is contagious across the school. She has a big heart and does whatever it takes to make instruction accessible for students. Vicki Davis, she couldn't be with us today. But Vicki Davis Finance Department, Vicki created a chart of accounts, electronic procedures to load budgets and train staff to implement in a more efficient and effective manner. Maria Flemate, Alianza Charter, Classified, Healthcare Assistant. Maria has helped create a safe, positive, and caring environment for all our staff, students, and families during these such unprecedented times. Kelly Bermudez, Special Services, Certificated Life Skills Teacher. Kelly learned that she has had students who were not able to read as high schoolers in a life skills program. She reached out and obtained the curriculum and began utilizing the instructional programs and saw amazing results. Risa Schwartz, Mar Vista, second grade teacher. Risa is innovative in finding solutions to the problems listening from st each student's perspective and giving guidance when needed. Her classroom is a safe space for everyone. She is strict, but fun. <laughs> now I'm gonna ask number 16 through 30 to please begin to line up. 
Jennifer Torres, Radcliffe, Classified Kinder Instructional Assistant. Jenny has been using new strategies with the students, such as visual cards for routine classroom directions. She always produces creative ways to help her students reach their highest potential. Maria Zavala, Starlight, Special Services, Instructional Assistant. Maria is not here. Beyond academics, Maria is a source of comfort and support for students and staff. Her peaceful demeanor com complements the social, emotional, learning, and mindfulness curriculum implemented. Brittany Luther, Starlight, Certificated, Special Services. She's not here too, either, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ms. Luther has helped out our school develop a multi-tier system to better serve all students, regardless of special education status. More students receive high quality interventions because of her services. Maricela Cárdenas, Early Childhood Education Classified Administrator, Secretary 3. With Maricela's experience, she has been able to tie in regulations from all the different programs to one comprehensive enrollment packet. Don Sterner, Valencia, Classified Instructional Assistant. Due to Don's focus sessions, kids who were unable to read and write independently are on their way and believing in themselves as learners. She has nurtured their confidence along with their basic skills. Francisco Ramirez, New School Classified Custodian. Francisco helps create a safe and clean space that promotes a positive school learning environment by taking care of our school. Francisco's important, obvious Im impact is obvious each morning. I open our school to welcome students. Veronica Fernandez, Cesar Chavez, Certificated Counselor. Veronica helps create a safe space for students at CCMS. The CCMS Counseling Center is a place where students can find counseling, a place to study, and a place where my parents can meet with a counselor to discuss their concerns they have. And my son is with her all the time. <laughs> Tamela, Tammy Harkins is not able to be with us today. Pajaro Valley High Certificated English Teacher. Ms. Harkins' teaching style is restorative. She gives students an opportunity to grow and change to engage her students. She has made sure that her classes included more project-based project learning opportunities this year. Mary Lou Masters, Human Resources Classified Analyst. She's not able to be with us either. Mary Lou put into place systems which have increased cross-departmental efficiencies in being able to respond to random drug tests timely. Responding more quickly means our students are getting to school safely. Luz Rodriguez, Hall District, certificated, kindergarten teacher. Ms. Rodriguez is known on Hall as the Kinder Whisperer. She creates a solid classroom community with high expectations for students' behavior and learning. Teresa Covarrubias, transportation, classified dispatcher. Working in a positive way with all drivers to ensure that they start their morning in a positive way is important for Teresa because she knows that it will mean that the drivers will pass on a positive start to the morning for the students. Yeah, Gustavo Carrera, EA Hall, Classified Instructional Assistant. Gus increases the effectiveness of our life skills program through his teamwork with the entire school community. He transcends his job description by always lending a helping hand to anyone at the school, including students, parents, and staff. Juan Carlos Mendoza, Virtual Academy Classified Site Technician. Juan Carlos has created communication methods which greatly increase the effectiveness of providing information to the entire school community in a virtual learning environment. Angelica Flores, Cesar Chavez Counselor. Angelica helps create CCMS Counseling Center at a place that students seek out at break, break time and lunch time. It offers weekly meetings for our LGBTQ students and works with the CCMS Access Club to recognize students who are exceedingly excelling academically. Alejandra Macie, and Solo, healthcare assistant. Our wonderful Alejandra reinvented herself this year as our main bulwark against the, the storm of COVID. She created many successful systems for tracking, testing, and reentry and follow up. If I can have numbers 31 to 45, please um, line up now. Mary Luz Mindiel, 
Mar Vizca, certificated sixth grade teacher. Mary Luz is creative and innovative in how she connects with her students. She is patient and approaches her pedagogical thinking from the perspective of a sixth grader. This makes her curriculum fun. Silvia Piña, Pajaro Middle, classified instructional assistant. Silvia's strategy to engage with all stakeholders has been evident throughout her distinguished 37 years of service to the students and families of Pajaro Valley Unified School District. Tara Makula, Starlight, certificated fourth and fifth grade teacher. Tara's incredible science teacher. Students learn through hands-on doing and creating science each week. Science comes to life every day in her classroom and the students love it. Matsuo Alvord, nephew, classified lead custodian. Ms. Matsuo Alvord is not only an exceptional lead custodian, but she's also an educator who takes great interest in our Lakeview students' sense of connectedness and increases engagement. Congratulations. Nancy Broxton, student services, classified mental health clinician. Mrs. Broxton has just designed her therapeutic model to include students' interests, pro-social activities, and always connecting families. All of these innovative ways to connect have contributed to students' and families' healing. Rebecca Vizcaino, landmark healthcare assistant. Ms. Rebecca's tireless efforts to support our students, families, and staff by creating a safe, positive, and healthy office environment is amazing. Her quick follow-up calls and attention to detail give our community reassurance that all will be well. Barbara Welty, Rio Del Mar Behavior Commission. Barbara uses evidence-based practices that we can apply to all students while tailoring them to individual needs. Our students feel her warmth and a sense of safety. She embraces all our Rio Del Mar values. Jeanette Jeffries, Freedom, fifth grade teacher. Mrs. Jeffries is an amazing teacher who intentionally empowers students to help one another. Students who are strong in math help other students who need more support. Students who are better writers help others to enhance their writing. Melissa Shaw, Landmark, third grade teacher. Ms. Shaw has increased parent and family engagement in, her, in their children's education using both digital communication apps and clear use of resources that are presented in new and fun engaging ways that reach our students. Maria Vega Perez, Minty White, classified attendance specialist. Ms. Vega uses her skills and understanding of kicking off the year and assured that all the required work and communication was completed and that it was in position to open school su uh, successfully. I should find those pieces. Mercedes Barrios, migrant education certificate, migrant UK teacher. Mercedes uses several assessments to provide the best possible instruction to students. She is more than willing to accommodate the families we serve by making herself available to do home visits to make sure students and families receive the services they deserve. Megan Jacobs Meyer, Marvista Librarian. Mrs. J's laptop books and reading is pervasive. She provides a social emotional sanctuary for students who need a place to explore and socialize with each other with constructive activities. We are so lucky to have such an inspiring library. Mabel Marquez, Aptos High, classified health assistant. She is well known for her compassionate and thorough care. She seamlessly transferred her impeccable skills from meeting students' needs in the health office to meeting students' needs in COVID testing. She is a remarkable, quiet leader. Donna Costa, CTE, Business Information Analyst. Don leveraged an existing system, added relevant functionality, and trained staff to use with fidelity. She's always available to supporting and improving system to best serve the district and our students. The amount of time she's sa saved and accuracy gained with the new system is a game changer. Melinda Luna, Alianza Charter, Certificated Intervention Teacher. Melinda is a roving teacher, and yet that did not stop her from finding a space to work, being effective, efficient, and creating a learning environment 
for students regardless of where their lessons have taken place. Carrie Gill, Aptos Junior High, our teacher at PBIS lead. Carrie has committed all news assemblies, messaging and strategies that appeal to students' preferred communication methods to help them see and experience how to act responsibly, just be safe, have respect, and strive for success. Emma Oshner, EA Hall Certificated Social Studies and Anthropology teacher. Ms. Oshner teaches methods contribute to a supportive school environment and increase students' sense of connectedness by providing culturally responsive instruction. Jordan Rice. If I can have number 46 through 60, please line up. Thank you. <laughs> Is Jordan Rice here? No. Pajaro Middle School, certificated math science teacher. Jordan Rice consistently demonstrates accelerated achievement in mathematics and science. Using a variety of data source, sources, Mr. Rice designs and implements high-quality tactile or tech-based mathematical practices. Linda Macias, Freedom, <laughs> kindergarten teacher. I'm sorry, I forgot to call that last one. Is she here? Ms. Macias is an amazing kinder teacher. Her classroom functions like a high-end corporate giant. <laughs> so much gets done in such a small space with little angels running around. Her class provides systems and routines that allow students to flourish. Lori Estrada, Bradley, cafeteria assistant. Lori has maintained adaptability as our schools struggle with power outages and scheduling challenges with space. Ms. Lori maintains professionalism, reliability, and dependability to ensure our students are fed and provided with a clean and welcoming environment. Rosalba Iniguez, Early Childhood Education Certificated Teacher. Ms. Iniguez has provided a safe place for students with exceptional needs to thrive next to their peers while working to provide an equal education for all the students. Her strategies and practices set up positive approaches to increasing inclusions of in ECE preschool classroom. Karen Richmond, Richmond, Valencia kindergarten teacher. Karen is the queen of designing ed creative and innovative systems and structures. She has implemented routines for all parts of her kindergarten students' day, from the greeting meeting and clock to and clock talk to dy dynamite dismissal and everything in between. Marisa Pozzi Loyola, Waxa kindergarten teacher. Ms. Pozzi's kindergarten students have consist constantly de developing and engineering items according to their passions. She uses uh, the design of inquiry to reach the needs of all her students. Debra Leal, Rolling Hills, Library Media Tech. Ms. Leal has been instrumental in transforming our library to a learning center. Each of the library's four stations, technology, collaboration, quiet reading circle, and maker space has been closely designed by Ms. Leal to meet the needs and wants of all students. Matt Merrill, Renaissance Five, <laughs> Mental Health Clinician. Matt has provided a safe, supportive environment for students to engage in mental health supports in all levels of need. Students feel comfortable with Matt and his demeanor also supports this. Rebecca Said, Bradley, fourth grade teacher. The impact of Ms. Said has made on our campus through her work has been wonderful. The work she does to empower and encourage students to spread kindness, problem solve, respect, and honor each other and make good decisions reaches far beyond that of her classroom. Teresita Marchicello, adult education ESL instructor. Teresita is continuously adjusting her curriculum to be inclusive of all students and increase the percentage of English learners who demonstrate at least one year of progress toward English fluency. K-12 
Kelsey Hanley, Calabasas, second grade teacher. Ms. Hanley utilizes students' interests and desires to motivate them to be successful. Ms. Hanley's students are in her classroom 100% of the time, and they love being there so much. If school was made voluntary, they would be there. <laughs> Juan Rocha, a behavior technician, rice program. By building strong relationships, Juan impacts students, student achievement and ensures students feel safe in their learning environment. He's a vital part of our RICE program, and we are lucky to have him as part of our MST family. Bobby Grenier, PVUSD Virtual Academy teacher. Bobby's projects are cross-curricular and fused language. There she is. <laughs> and fused language arts, social studies, and technology. Her innovative technology talents have increased students' creativity and family engagement in a virtual school. All the work she's doing in the digital space is improving our school culture. Now I'm going to ask number 61 through 75 to please line up. Alma Anguiano, HA High, second grade teacher. Ms. Anguiano uses a combination of technology, hands-on activities, and curricular material to make learning interesting in her classroom. Students are excited to come to school and learn in their classroom. Ms. Tierney Long, near school, certificated social emotional counselor. Ms. Long has uh, helped create, helps create a culture where she promotes a safe, supportive, and positive school environment through. Her efforts encourage positive behavior and increases our students' sense of connectedness and improves engagement. Ms. Edith Reese, landmark kindergarten. Ms. Reese works tirelessly to provide high quality instruction using a variety of different methods and makes herself available to parents whenever it is healthy, helpful to the families. Ms. Reese has provided our families a feeling of connectedness. Ms. Doris Salazar Reese, HA High teacher. Doris consistently implements innovative teaching strategies into her classroom. Whether it's the use of technology, software programs, alternative presentation methods, or the, furniture, or the furniture and tools in her classroom, she's always trying to improve and accentuate everything she does. Juan Gonzalez, Minty White, Mr. Gonzalez is using the good to great math instructional program to improve students' participation and learning in math and English. The program intersects research-based practices for learning math with developing language practices in creative and innovative ways. Mayelene Martinez, Watson Ohad, Administrative Secretary. Mayelene is never too busy to support any of our students walking into our office, no matter what their needs are. She is knowledgeable of our on-campus resources, and she really connects students with the appropriate personnel and services. Judy Quesada, Dr. Marvel, classified behavior technician. Judy is a creative and dynamic behavior technician. Her resourcefulness and astounding is outstanding. Judy takes input and training from the speech pathologist and occupational therapist she works with, as well as her own skills and background to create the learning materials and interventions she uses with students. Teresa Gibney. Hall District Speech Pathologist. Ms. Gidney consults with her team and provides guidance and support to her colleagues to ensure the needs of her students are met. She is always positive, professional, and solution oriented. Her positive approach to any situation is contagious. Ryan Ortiz, Aptos High Science Teacher. Ms. Ortiz uses inclusive practices to bring others in including modeling strategies for staff in faculty meetings, sale leadership teams, team meetings, and in department collaboration. She is innovating in the ways she uses positive rewards to improve students' be behaviors as well as their sense of belonging on campus. Michelle Connery with one head. Rapid early years to coach. Michelle's innovation has made it easy for teachers to track their data and offers innovative ideas for next steps to improve student performance. 
Her ideas and innovations are warmly received by the Radcliffe community. Daisy Nunez, student certificate. <laughs> Ms. Nunez created the book club for students as she witnessed many students going through the pain and confusion accompanied by losing close family members and multiple members in the community. Melina Martinez, Special Services Classified Behavior Technician. Melina jumps into our most challenging situations across numerous school sites. She implements strong behavior analytic strategies to support students who have significantly struggled to access education. Esmeralda Flores, Radcliffe fourth grade teacher. Esme communicates regularly with parents in person and electronically to ensure that she that students reach their fullest potential. She advocates for all her students and makes sure that no one sleeps through any crack. <laughs> Vince Rodriguez, DTI, instructional assistant. Vince not only supports students on his caseload, but takes the time to support other students. Vince goes above and beyond his assignments to make connections and support the whole child. Maria Alcanta, what's the right answer? Ms. Alcanta is noted as being excellent with data by her counseling department. She helps her counseling department with spreadsheets, power tools, so that they can analyze data and make the best interventions. If numbers 76 through 90 can please begin to line up, thank you. Katie Hutchins, Anne Soldo, Certificated Lead, Reading Intervention Teacher. Our veteran all-star teacher, Ms. Katie, has a brain for schedules, a heart dedicated to students and teachers, and an awe-inspiring stamina to tackle every day with a yes-we-can attitude. Sandra Moore, PBI Administrative Secretary. Mrs. Moore prides herself in making sure our office meets all the professional standards for good customer service. The true testament to the work she, sees, she is seeing the administrative team rising to meet the same expectations she holds. She has created an environment where everyone is respected and cared for. Ms. Bernabe Vallejo, Food and Nutrition Services, Site Leader. Bernabe strives to provide healthy, fresh, and nicely presented meals, adding to each student's sense of connectedness, engagement, and hope. She has created a positive, safe, relaxing environment for students to enjoy meals and gather safely to socialize. Mr. Angel Rodriguez, Adult Education, <laughs> Administrative Secretary. Angel is continuously evaluating the various systems we have in place. He has established social media processes and procedures. Angel shares his knowledge with others and has greatly supported an office team effort. Jason Solis, Renaissance High, CTE teacher. Jason has brought in real world experiences based upon his own business model where students are given a client and work with that client on a branding for a website. Students engage in listening, questioning, interpreting, and then creating that branding with feedback from the client until a finished concept is completed. Great branding, Jason. <laughs> Cristina Carrillo, Payroll and Benefits, Benefits Specialist. Cristina has worked with outside agencies to expand our financial options for all district employees. She is innovating new ways to educate employees about health benefits through educational videos and regular office hours. Erin Billenberg, Virtual Academy teacher. Erin is the jack of all trades who goes above and beyond to help students in the Virtual Academy succeed. Erin has created multiple avenues of support systems for students, families, and staff which are utilized school-wide. Julia Reeves, a Mesty, fifth grade teacher. Julia's system promotes, to promote a positive school environment is to implement community building circles on a regular basis. 
Jillian's focus on creating a safe and supportive classroom environment has created a space where all students can thrive. Jose Quintero, nephew, PE teacher. Mr. Quintero has done an amazing job of contributing to the transformation of the physical education department to becoming a more effective, efficient, and undoubtedly innovative program. He is proactive and creative and is exemplary physical education teacher. Angelica Bruno, Rolling Hills Certificated teach, uh, Math and Science Teacher. Ms. Bruno uses a broad knowledge of interrelationships of concepts, academic content standards, and academic language in ways that ensures connection and relevance to students. Her decision and actions are student-centered and often result in the improvement of the overall educational experience of our, new, of our newcomer students. Mercedes Cigaran, a Mesti first grade teacher. Ms. Cigaran has focused on creating a safe learning environment for all while meeting their wide range of instructional needs. These approaches include the use of small groups to support students ac accessing the district curriculum. This access has supported all students to grow academically. Elizabeth Simmons, McQuitty Certificate uh, Reading Intervention Teacher. Ms. Simmons' data-driven decisions and constant strategic grouping, groupings of students better develop and supported students with foundational reading skills. Maggie Legorvu, Calabasas, sixth grade teacher. Ms. Legorvu creates and utilizes strategies that put the ownership of, on students, allowing them to hold themselves accountable for their own learning and creating a safe environment where mistakes are not frowned upon, but looked at as valuable learning opportunities. Ms. Diane Nahira, after junior high office manager, Diane has improved operational efficiency through several technolo technological enhancements to her operations, including purchasing and implementing the use of an automated report card machine, which has allowed us to communicate better with our families on grades. If I can have numbers 91 through 104, the last, please uh, line up at this time. Thank you. Mr. Nathan Bugayong, Technology Tech Support Technician. Nathan has been actively involved in co creative design process for the Salesforce projects, demonstrating active listening, thoughtful reflection, and collaborative <coughs> engagement. Lupita Fernandez, Mining and Seasonal Head Start Kindergarten Teacher. Lupita has created Google Sheets that are utilized by different dis district departments to exchange information and be up to date on schedules, placement location, IEP meetings, communication with families, etc. Juana Tribon, McQuitty, second grade teacher. Our team would like to highlight Juana's innovation in inclusive practices. Juana welcomes several students from Mrs. Gladys and, Ms. and Mr. Love's classroom each day for targeted SIPS intervention instruction. Lorena Castillo, Freedom Healthcare Assistant. Lorena's willingness to work hard and ensure that her office is a place where everyone is loved and cared for is so, adm is so admirable. It is not a job for her, it is her passion. She really loves what she does. Erin Farrar, Valencia Certificate <laughs> Teacher and Gay Liaison. Erin's work has been critical to the continued growth of her students. Though already exceptionally talented and high performing students, they have all continued to hone their skills and reach new heights with their learning. Jeanette Martinez, Oloni, Certificate Kinder and First Grade Teacher. Jeanette teaches K-1 Combo. She has a wide variety of reading levels in her classroom, from kinder still learning to, to decode, to students learning proficiently at first grade level, which means that she has several SIPs levels to manage. Martin Sweet, Real Damar, Sixth Grade Teacher, and After School Coordinator. 
The design Mr. Sweet use, uses is one of collaboration with teachers, parents, and site and district administration. He is steadfast in his commitment to students and creates bonds with them that last a lifetime. Mr. Noah Bess, Ganga Holbrook School Nurse. Noah helps provide a supportive and positive school environment for students with special needs. He is a safe, positive male role model for our students and has helped many of them overcome anxiety about healthcare during the pandemic. Vanessa Aromi, English Learner Programs, Data Entry Assistant. Vanessa has helped our department and sites by being innovative in, in how she collects data, organizes it, and reports it out. She has helped us make great improvements to our systems for reclassification and the state seal of biodiversity. Andrea Hallett, Cesar Chavez, Classified Instructional Assistant. Ms. Hallett has provided a safe and secure environment for the students in her classroom and her social, emotional understanding and relationships with the students in the classroom. Many who have diverse needs have allowed her, our students to experience success through her engagement and motivation. Ms. Bonnie Gilly, HA High <laughs> Library. Bonnie always, is always helping supplement our curriculum with culturally relevant books books to widen student knowledge and making reading fun for the students. She has also brought in authors to present at our school. Courtney Rudd, Virtual Academy teacher. Courtney has excellent attention to detail in creating projects that are personalized to each student's individual interest and development level. Additionally, she takes on extra duties, including serving as advisor, for the Leadership Club, and she is always willing to offer support to any teacher. Oh. <laughs> Ms. Tess Byers. <laughs> Feel free to turn your heads. <laughs> Just so you know, the presentation is correct. I'm not sure what happened. But. Uh, Tess and her, um, and her team work with her, each student to find some success, which breeds more success. Students feel loved and accepted and, and part of the classroom community for who they are. They are willing to show up and try even though things are hard because they know they are supported. Elizabeth Ortiz Ortiz, extended learning teacher. Liz understands the challenges and the strengths of the students and community. She is passionate about giving students the quality education and programs they deserve. Hasmin Ansira, TVUSD Virtual Academy Administrative Assistant. Jasmine wears many hats at Virtual Academy. She goes above and beyond and looks for methods to improve the efficiency of her, of her job tasks. She has a background in marketing and has been an integral team member in helping to create brochures, videos, flyers, posters, etc., to promote the school online. Elizabeth Jarrett, Diamond Tech, Special Case Manager. Elizabeth has done an outstanding job creating new standards, standard operating procedures and systems that better streamline our IEP student and student supports processes. Jamie Stock, McQueen. <laughs> Jamie is connecting with her students and building rapport. She is new and has made a great impact on her students and teacher. Tony Contreras, Hall District Instructional Assistant. Ms. Tony, as her students call her, demonstrates her innovation by using different strategies to support the individual learning needs of her students. Gabriel Uribe, Migrant Educational <laughs> Instructional Assistant. Gabriel helps families learn about the new technology tools by creating Spanish language screencast video that he could easily share with families through test, texts and email. Georgina Munoz, Oloni Instructional Assistant. Georgina is flexible about when and where she meets with students. 
depending on student need, not, not teacher preference for a set space and time. Students get exactly what they need when they need it with a minimum cost to other learning. And that is all. I'm going to... And Gladys, congratulations. She's going to be announcing the district innovators of the year. And, um, yeah, yeah. Well, and, um, Andy, we'll just leave it like that um, so that we don't give away the surprise. Okay, so this was a really challenging um, decision. So it took us about three hours for this group of people to decide out of the 104 who deserved. And we literally, we were on, we were virtual, but we literally almost went fist to fist for some of you. So it was a really hard, um, hard decision on, on our part. We are fortunate that this year we are giving 11 people a $250 award. So when we call your name, this time we're going to do thunderous applause for each and every person. Um, and we're going to let them come on up. No one knows, even the principals don't know um, who it is. Um, and so the first one is Maria Clemente. And she is a healthcare assistant at Alianza Charter School. sus padres antes de este evento, Mabel Marquez. for high school for virtual academy. (laughs) 
The next is Kelly Bermudez. And here she comes. Kelly is a life skills teacher, um, a certificated teacher for self -life. able to be with us today, but I want to give her a roaring applause. So, Vicki Davis. And she is a staff accountant at the district office in the finance department. The next person is Martin Sweet. And Martin is a sixth grade teacher and also does after school at Rio de Mar. And the next person is Deborah Lien. And she is a library media tech from Rolling Hills Middle School. Risa Swartz. And Risa is a second grade teacher from Mar Vista. Hi everybody, I'll keep it brief so you can get to celebrate your achievements tonight. All of you are winners uh, in our book. Um, some of you know I work in a hospital, and in the hospital, all the patients that we see, it's the worst day of their lives. Today, this is the best day of our lives when we get to celebrate our staff and our teachers in this district. This board cares very much about you. The superintendent cares so deeply about you, about your, the way that you educate and care for our children. This acknowledgement um, shows that somebody on your campus noticed your amazing work every day. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for caring about the kids in this district. And congratulations. Thank you. And that concludes our program for tonight. Thank you, everyone. If you want to, there's probably still some food outside. Please enjoy some. Take a photo. and. Um, Send it to me if you'd like to publish that also on the album, okay? And thank you, congratulations to all of you. Bravo.